What's up, guys? Welcome into a Monday morning episode of the Daily Juice Podcast with me, Matt Peralt, at Sports Talk. Matt, to follow me across all socials and this podcast being brought to you by OmahaSteaks.com. 100% satisfaction guarantee. If you go to OmahaSteaks.com and take advantage of their anniversary sale going on right now, juice in the search bar at OmahaSteaks.com will activate a 50% savings on select packages that are available right now. The steak, the pork, the chicken, all of it. 50% off when you use that promo code JUICE in the search bar at OmahaSteaks.com. Okay, so for you guys who are watching this on video, we got a new little backdrop. Welcome to football season, boys and girls. We are here now. This is going to be the look for the rest of the podcast here for the JUICE and probably for what will be a Sunday morning show where you'll get more details coming up on that. If you are so inclined to watch this channel during Sundays, if you have not hit subscribe to this channel, do so. If you've not hit the little alert button, do that as well. So then you're notified when we go live and when we have new content and good stuff that's going to be out there for the football season here with Betting Pro. So a lot of stuff's going to happen on this YouTube channel. If you're not following or subscribed to it right now, I would highly recommend doing so because we got a big football ball seasons to come. So uh, new logo too, by the way, for the betting pros folks. And also there is a birdie who is whispering in my ear telling me that there might be a new daily juice logo coming with the new daily juice logo would come new merch. And with new merch comes new giveaways for the football season. So just a little thing to keep an eye on out, maybe new t-shirts, new hats, and fun stuff that I'll be wearing and hopefully you'll be wearing as well, showing support for this podcast, which is free every single day. And somebody said in the Discord channel, by the way, if you're not in there, come on in, be, be a part of this. It's a lot of fun. We're going to ramp it up for football season. It's going to be awesome. It's bettingpros.com slash chat to get into the Discord channel. But there are some haters on the Discord channel, and that's fine. They get all bent out of shape and whatnot. Some sports I'm good at. Some sports I'm not. It's just how it is, okay? So NASCAR was 0-2 yesterday. You know, we were 4-0. We gave two units back. We're still up about four units in NASCAR. And that's going to happen. There's going to be ebbs and flows. I'm not a very good, I mean, my mixed martial arts betting is pretty much I would fade it if I were you guys. You know, I bet it. I tell you when I'm betting it. Feel free to fade it. I don't care. Go right ahead. Do it. That's fine. Now, if you are a content creator, which I've been told over the weekend that I guess some of you guys watch this and you use it for your own purposes, meaning like you sell the pick, either you fade it or you follow it, but you use what I've brought up, use the bet that I have come up with. So like, for instance, I was told before that there was a head to head that somebody gave out that, yeah, okay, you probably could maybe give it out and maybe you're on the other side of it. Maybe. But if you're doing that, just say thank you. Just say, hey, look, I was watching Matt Peralta on the Daily Juice. That's it. I don't care. Use it. I'm doing this 365. I'm doing the work. If you don't want to do the work, that's fine. When I get picks from other people, I will tell you. Our baseball pick was from SoCal DGen on Twitter, at SoCal DGen. Go check a look at it. He's a friend of the content, friend of both the Boston University of the Book and this podcast. And he had an awesome trend, sent me a text and said, this trend's great. It's now 19 and two, <laughs> okay? 16 straight after the Braves shut an opponent out, the over in the next game hits. That's not my research, that's his research. I have, to I have no problem following that. That's the beauty of the podcast being free is that we can do that without having any real, you know, consternation or agenda or, you know, any type of like, you know, slang term you want to make about being nervous about using somebody else's stuff. I'll just tell you straight up. Hey, I use this person's stuff. Hey, I use that site stuff. I will not apologize for it or feel bad about it. So just a little heads up to the content folks who are watching this heading towards football season. I'm aware of it. Just say thank you. I mean, just say thank you. It's all good. Fade or follow. Just say thank you. If I put you to, hey, Matt sucks at this. I'm fading him. Okay. Just say thank you because I'm the one that told you about it or using my pick to go on the other side. Either or. Fade or foul. Doesn't matter. Just pay attention. Hit the like button. Leave a review. Subscribe to this podcast wherever you get your audio podcasts. Two baseball plays on a Monday. Now, here's the week, okay? The WNBA is having two very big games on Tuesday and Wednesday, both here in Vegas. I might go to one of them. Vegas hosting the New York Liberty. New York, when they played here first time, got thrashed. Vegas, when they went to New York, got dismantled and embarrassed. Tomorrow night's 
another game. Th- three of four. They'll play Tuesday, Wednesday. Ooh, baby, this is going to be fun. So we got stuff going on with the WNBA. Preseason football starts back up on Thursday. Okay, so we've got that. I'm one in three betting preseason. Not good, but we'll see if we can turn things around. We've got a monster UFC card in Boston coming up on Saturday. I cannot wait. We've got other events throughout the entire week here. This is a big week in Vegas. It's the Westgate Super Contest weekend. A lot of people are going to be here in town. It's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of you content creators are coming to Vegas. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait to see a lot of you. It's going to be a lot of fun. So that's a long way of saying that I'm only going to bet two games tonight. I'm going to be kind of light on the card just because I know what's coming down the pike. And I just want to kind of dip my toe in here for the week because we got bigger things and bigger days and bigger cards to come. Okay, let's start with the Angels and their game coming up tomorrow with Patrick Sandoval starting. Patrick Sandoval 6-8 and eight with a 3.86 ERA up against Max Scherzer. We know what Mad Max is doing for the Rangers. I don't need to tell you about it. Patrick Sandoval is the bet here. Sandoval, last time out, two earned runs, six and two-thirds. But the game was 8-3. The bullpen blew up. Before that, on the road at Atlanta, five innings, two earned runs. Patrick Sandoval was good. Bullpen gave up five. Five runs total, three runs from the from the bullpen. Against Detroit, he gave up zero earned runs, but the bullpen gave up four. Uh, against the Yankees, he went seven in a third, gave up one earned run, the only run the Yankees scored there, but that's the Yankees. And then we go at San Diego, 5-3 loss, he gave up one earned run, the bullpen gave up four. Why am I bringing up the bullpen? Because the team total for the Texas Rangers is four and a half. Now it's juicy, it's minus 130, but the Texas Rangers at home are averaging 6.2 runs per game. That is the best in the bigs, okay? That is the best home production in Major League Baseball. They are also at home as the home team to the over 33, 21 and six. Okay. So this is an offense that clicks at home. They're not great on the road, but they absolutely thrash at home. Okay. First game back off a roadie. You might go, you know, I don't know, Matt, that might be a little dangerous to go ahead and jump in here with this. Patrick Sandoval, I think is going to get absolutely tattooed here. And there is that worry, right? About the fact that when you have Max going, do they bring their bats because they know they have Scherzer and do they have the same production? But 6-1-5-3. They've scored 11 runs in two games in the two starts for Max Scherzer. He's given up one earned run and three earned runs. Team total over for the Rangers. Four and a half. 1.3 units down on that. I can't believe it's four and a half. It's at FanDuel. Get it. Four and a half. Minus 130. Jump on it because that thing's moving. Okay. That will not be the number <laughs> coming up here uh, Here when we get this. You guys listen most likely. Hopefully it's still four and a half. The juice may change, but four and a half is a great number. For you guys listening overnight, you're going to get a good number here because I can't believe it's four and a half for the Rangers. Over four and a half. Minus 130. 1.3 units down on that. Bet number two. Let's talk about Max Freed who has been okay since coming back off of injury. He went against the Cubs and the Pirates. This will be his first home start. Four earned runs in the last start against the Pirates. They won 6-5. Zero earned runs in six innings against the Cubs in his first start off of there. At home, he has a 3.55 ERA. On the road, it's a sub two, but a lot of those numbers were before he actually got hurt. Now, Clark Schmidt is the pitcher for the New York Yankees. Clark Schmidt has been pretty darn good, okay? The team has won five in a row for Clark Schmidt games. In fact, they have won seven of eight with Clark Schmidt on the mound, okay? 7-1-4-3-8-3-5-4-6-3. They beat Houston. They beat Baltimore on the road. They beat Baltimore twice, actually, during this stretch with Clark Schmidt on the mound, one, two, three, three, two, zero, three, three earned runs. I mean, this guy on this streak, pretty much pencil him in for three earned runs, max. That's about it. He could go for two, he could go for one. And I know this is obviously a great offense that you're dealing with here with the Atlanta Braves at home. The Atlanta Braves have the best home record in Major League Baseball. Sorry, not best road record. Sorry, at home. 
the Braves have the third best home record. They're 37 and 20 at home. Texas is 40 and 20. They lead baseball 38 and 20 for the LA Dodgers. If you're looking for overs, this is where you kind of go, hmm. The over for Atlanta, they're 34, 22, and one to the over. Okay. The total of this game is nine. The bullpens could get involved, but the Yankees just really don't score. And that's that, that's my big fear when it comes to the Yankees. Their offense is just not existent. I mean, on the road, their offense has not been there the way you'd expect this team. I mean, they only are averaging, uh, let's see, the Yankees this year are averaging, that's the Mets. Uh, where are the Yankees? Um, boy, that's bad. I, I mean, they're averaging 4.46 runs per game on the road. That's just unbelievable. I mean, Cleveland scores more than they do. The Mets score more than they do. The Cubs score more than they do on the road. I mean, obviously, the Dodgers are the best at 5.88. They're unbelievable. But in Atlanta is really good, too, at 5.69. It's, just, it's one of those things where you're looking at it from a home team perspective. Atlanta scores six runs a game. And that's definitely one of the fear factors here. Whenever you're talking about the Yankees and you're talking about the Braves, the Braves on the run line, this is actually a stat that I think I want to watch a little bit more before I start getting involved in heavily with the run with the run line because the Braves the Braves in the run line actually they're 29 and 28. They're actually under uh, at home given all their home games, all their overs at home. They're actually an under team, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. The Yankees on the road actually are 29 and 26, okay? I'm going to hold my nose here, and I'm going to hope for the Yankees to keep this game close. It's only minus 104 to take one and a half runs. As I mentioned, the team has won seven of eight, okay? And it's Max Freed, who wasn't good in his last start. This game might fly over, okay? I'll have a personal play on the over in this game just because and bet the over nine. So if you don't like the plus one and a half run line bet on the Yankees, you can go ahead and take the over, which is minus 108. Maybe a push potential there with that. But I'm just going to take the Yankees at minus 104 at plus one and a half runs on the run line here. And maybe Schmidt and the Yankees win the game outright and it won't matter all that much. It's plus 190 on the money line if you want to sprinkle on it. But I'm going to take the run line. Yankees plus one and a half. They can lose. Just lose the game 5-4 here today against the Braves. We're going to jump in with that here for our second play officially for today on a Monday. All right. Yankees run line at minus 104. And we're going over team total over four and a half for the Rangers at minus 130 up against the the Los Angeles Angels fading the Angels. Even though they won two one yesterday, we're going to take the team total over four and a half Yankees on the run line plus one and a half two plays for us here on a Monday. Kind of going to limp in a little bit here to start the week. Big Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday games coming up. Bets to be had all throughout the week. My name is Matt Peralta. You guys can follow me on socials at Sports Talk Matt each and every morning. The Daily Juice podcast always being brought to you by OmahaSteaks.com. 